We're going to move on to uh, Evans, Georgia now. we got CJ on the line. Hello there. Hi there. Thank you so much for taking my call. How are sure. you guys doing today? We're super. Thank Good. you. Good. I have kind of a disgusting question. Okay. <laughs> uh, we moved into a place about three months ago, and uh, we've had the Orkin guys come and spray, and they don't seem to be taking care of these things that are really just kind of freaking me out. <laughs> All right. They are. Um, they look like centipedes, and they're fast as lightning. And I'm wondering if there's a specific thing that will take care of them that they're not using. Are they sort of fuzzy? Or long-legged yes, and lots of long they're legs? They're building centipedes. They're house, they're they're house the, centipedes. House yeah. centipedes, yeah. That's are they difficult? Oh, they're just... And they seem to be slowing down. Okay. They were fast as lightning when we initially moved in. Yeah. Do you have? And, uh, do you have I'm a sorry? basement? Do you have a basement, CJ? No, we have a pretty big crawl space. Okay. All right. And when you said you've seen a lot, I mean, have you seen hundreds, ten, five? No, 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 no. Not it's uh, one is a lot. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh. This yeah. is the one okay. creature that I really have still not not gained really? an affection or an appreciation really? for. They have too many legs and they're just too creepy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, they're very they're very common. Again, it's the house centipede. They're very fast because they're predators. They're hunters. So they use venom to uh, immobilize their prey. So you wouldn't want to be bitten by one. It would hurt. It wouldn't be dangerous though, unless and it you were. It wouldn't be that likely. No, a very to unlikely. So really nothing to worry about. Um, so, you know, if if you're not going to use, say, the bottom side of your shoe or um, a vacuum cleaner <laughs> is, a, is a good thing to vacuum them up, they, they desiccate very quickly. In other words, they're kind of soft-bodied critters, and if you dry out their environments, they don't do well. So if your house is a little humid, that's one way. But some of these um, dusts and powders, even good old-fashioned boric acid powder, and cracks and crevices underneath the kind of places they skitter to to hide. Like under baseboards mm -hmm. and yeah. ground plumbing. Yeah, yeah. And, and they could be down in your crawl space. I don't know if you want to have someone go down there and, and check. They could do some residual treatments under there. And obviously, too, we always talk about exclusion. If there's real obvious holes coming up around plumbing penetrations, you can always caulk that, exclude them some. But... CJ, but you're probably you also, always going to have them. Yeah, and you have to get rid of their prey base, right? So if you have a roach problem or something like that, you want to get rid of the other bugs that now, they live on. Right. We don't really have any kind of roaches or anything. So that, I'm wondering if that's what's slowing them down. If they're, uh, I don't know, but, you know, I have, I have still seen uh, some probably two or three in the last six weeks. Yeah. So. Maybe they're just old centipedes like me, and they're just slowing down. <laughs> <laughs> just old. Yeah, a six-week old centipede—that's pretty old, you know. Well, so, what is their life cycle? No, Do I, they live a long time? Seriously, well, more than six weeks. Yeah, they—they're probably they're seasonal. Although they live lo all year long because they again they tend to be in our structures. So, yeah, so they're protected you can from have the elements. Eggs and little tiny baby house centipedes and mom and dad centipedes. And they are really tiny. Those little babies. Yeah. I've seen them too. They look just like the grown-ups, only just tiny. Right. <laughs> So, and the weather might have something to do with it. Even though your house is insulated and heated, um, things tend to slow down in the in the fall and the winter time. But um, yeah, controlling the insects too, because obviously if they're there, CJ, they're getting something to eat. So, they, really? Yeah, but that doesn't mean yeah, it's a we huge. Don't see any, yeah, we don't see any other bugs but them, truly. No, but it only takes a few bugs here and there in a wall void or um, you know in some hidden location. So it doesn't mean you have a bad infestation. So, but I mean, uh -huh. if they're, again, if they're there, if they're there, they got to eat. So they're getting something somewhere. Well, and my okay. favorite control so. method when I find one on the wall or in the bathtub is the vacuum cleaner. Yeah. And remember, you okay. can't, you can do pest control and that's great. And you keep, you manage the populations. You're not going to eradicate them. So, um, because right outside your house, obviously, is, is the entire world. So your mulch, your gardens, your trees, your yard. Those are all the places that insects that the centipedes would eat are harboring. So you're not going to get them to zero, but you can manage them. But don't be afraid of them. They're, the chances of them biting you is almost zero, unless you ever go in bare feet. Don't ever go in bare feet. No, no I'm kidding. That's not it. <laughs> They're just creepy. They're, they just look creepy.
And, and boy, don't do a Google <laughs> image search of House Centipede because some of the photographs are just horrifying. Really? No, I don't think so at all. I think they're fun. They're kind of, they're like little cats. Mm, they, they look, look like little Lhasa Apsas. They yes, have the, they do. They have the hair that sort of, um, you know, falls to the back, or, but it's really their legs. They're many, many legs. They're, See, they're just crazy. Your job, CJ, <laughs> is to... They don't is to read up they on them. Look that good to me. <laughs> now, well, get one, put it in a shoe box and keep it by your bedside for a week and, and spend time with it and, and you'll get no used to <laughs> No, you won't. I have saved many of them in containers. I've brought the, uh, to bring into the bug guys, but t- by the time the week rolls around when my bug guys are going to be here again, they're all dried up and yeah. curled up and nastier than they were when they, they were alive. They die very easily, actually. They dry out very easily. So get your house down to about, you're welcome. You're in good company. (laughs) Okay. Thanks for calling, CJ. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. And you're listening to Your Day. I'm Charlotte Holt, the wimp about centipedes, and I'm here with Dr. Eric Benson, an extension urban entomologist at Clemson University. And we're glad to take your calls about centipedes, millipedes, or anything with uh, eight legs or less. Um, or We'll take less. More, or Six. more. Or more. So, uh, yeah, and we're going to talk uh, the toll-free number if you want to call in is 888-539-8859. But we're going to go on now to Alice and Anderson.